Okay, I'm gonna say it. Johnny Hecker is arguably the greatest punter of our generation. Known nowadays as pretty much being the second coming of Sam Cooke, which admittedly is a pretty weird thing to say since Sam is still here, but it's because of his ability to hit crazy punts in game with great success. Probably most known for making the banana ball extremely popular in the modern NFL era, he also has very quietly, for those who have not been Rams fan, put up probably some of the best punting stats of all time but it goes beyond distance punts because what his career is actually known for is him being a master of controlling the net punt and not allowing returns but this also goes beyond just himself into the scheme of which he punts and today we're going to be looking at all of that and how Johnny Hecker has teamed up with John Vassell to make the Brady Belichick duo of special teams history. But first, if you want to learn how to kick your worst habits, go ahead and check out the sponsor of today's video, Canadips. Canadips are dip pouches filled with 10 milligrams of that good American grown CBD. So whether you're trying to kick a bad vibe or a wacky tobacco habit, go ahead and check out CanadipsCBD.com right now to get you a couple cans using code PUNT for 20% off your order or just click my affiliate link in the description. But Back to the punter. So for Johnny, him and Fassel early in his career clicked in a way that's unlike anything ever seen before. It goes beyond a punt to punt situation, but transcended into the big picture of punting as a whole. While the previous thought process has always been kick the ball as far and as towards the sideline as possible and kind of cross your fingers and hope for the best, Hecker seemed to understand that it was a dance that he was doing with the returner and that the maximum yards per punt hasn't always translated into the best for his team and he needed maximum net yards. While that sounds like a simple concept, in practice, in execution, trust me when I say it's much less simple to pull off. But Hecker in 2013 would actually set the record for the best net average in a season, averaging just 46.3 yards per punt, but only giving up 70 return yards across that whole season. And for those of you who don't understand how impressive that is, at any point in a single game, a punter is one line drive punt away from giving up 70 yards in a single return much less a single game, much less a single season. So for him to pull this off, people knew he was something special. But no one could have predicted what he was going to do in 2016, which after averaging a 47.8 yards per punt, he would have an insane 46 yard net punt, which stands to this date as the best net average of all time in any single season. And to show you how impressive that is, in 2016 when he set this record, the record that he beat at the time was a 44.2 yard net punt average set by no other than himself in 2013 in the season I just talked about. And before that, he was beating Andy Lee's 2011 season and Shane Leckler's 2009 season. Both of those guys had to average over 50 yards per punt in order to even lick the bottom of Hecker's boot for what he just did. But today, the thing I'm going to address mostly about why Hecker had so much success and how that net punt came into his life was the thing that actually gives punters success when it comes to net punt in that scheme and the other 10 guys on the field. Because love it or hate it, if you hit a beautiful 48 yard, 4.8 second hang punt that lands five yards from the sideline, all that great execution you did is for not if your gunner is picking his teeth up off the opposing team's sideline thanks to getting blocked into next week. So today we're gonna be looking at why the Rams scheme was so successful at creating net yards. So so first and foremost, having a great leg is where it starts, but it also comes with having a great arm. You cannot talk about the Rams and Hecker and Fassel without talking about faking a punt because that is one of the bread and butters of things that they do because they have over their 10 years together faked 23 punts. Now while two punts a season doesn't sound like much, that is terrifying for return units because guess what that eliminates two of their bread and butter returns it eliminates the all-out blitz on the punter and it eliminates max protect and i'm going to tell you why so first let's talk about why the fakes that this unit runs are so freaking scared they have two fakes that i've seen they've got like a 10 yard dig and then a dump off to a personal protector so this tandem of fakes is going to allow for something absolutely lethal to happen so consistently you almost don't notice it. The first thing, like I said earlier, is they can't load up the box and bring pressure on Hecker. If you do it twice, they're going to hit you with that dump route, and now you have a first down and then some because no one is going to be able to read and react in time. If you play too loose and go max protect on the returner, doubling down on the guards, you're also setting yourself up to have that play run on you because you're under leverage down the center. And also, if they just punt it, you have a guy that can make double teaming a gunner completely useless because Johnny Hecker can hang the ball up there with way more time that's necessary 
secondary. So most teams have to elect to play essentially man coverage on the outside and force their corners to take a defensive position close to the gunner to prevent that comeback route. Because if you give them too much space, they're going to sprint 10 yards like they're going for the returner, jam their feet in the ground, flip their hips back, catch a pass for 11 yards. And guess what? More times than not, that is an absolute guaranteed first downs. So what that means is that the corners who are there to block for the returner now have to be on the backside of those gunners because they have to eliminate that play because you never know when Hecker and Vassal are going to dial it up. What this means is that you never get a pressure Johnny Hecker and never get great blocks leading to what seems like an impossibly good performance on a super consistent basis for this whole special teams unit. Don't believe me? Let's just look at some of the numbers, okay? Fassel was hired in 2012 and found Hecker in free agency that perfectly fit his scheme, you know, Hecker being a quarterback in high school and all. And when they came in as they're implementing the scheme, they had a, you know, what would be a pretty good year in the early days of the NFL with a 39.9 net average after that the seven years of dominance that these two guys had like they broke the best net punting average in the nfl twice during their tenure together for seven years they broke it in 2013 with that 44.2 and then again in 2016 with a 46 yard net and as a duo they worked perfectly and together created this belichick brady like duo except instead of a quarterback head coach it was special teams coordinator hunter when Fasso left in 2020 immediately you saw the result hecker had a 39.7 yard net average where in just 68 punts he would give up more return yards than in any season prior, including a 96 and 98 punt season. This seven year stretch was one of the greatest of all time. It was exciting to watch and potentially will define special teams for years to come. But that's all I have for you guys. And as always, have an amazing day. Peace.